Hey traders, welcome to today's reports. Joseph here from ACAP and uh, today's reports for the 13th uh, of the 10th. So we didn't do a report yesterday because markets, sorry, moves on FX were uh, basically extremely tight. Uh, it was a weird day yesterday. We didn't see a lot of movement uh, in FX pairs. The pound sort of led the way with a uh, 0 0.1, 0.31% gain, but that wasn't until very late into the New York session that we saw some uh, some some moves start up. Um, the yen pairs were busy, but again uh, they were flat until sort of late London into New York, where we see some uh, decent selling pop up. Uh, the dollar yen was probably one of the biggest uh, moves yesterday. Uh, we're just looking at move there, so that was um, 0.3. 8% lower and we did see a break of uh, trend just on this trend here so that's something we're going to keep an eye on and the other movement we did see was on stock indexes now the US indexes were closed yesterday but we did see the uh, European markets finish higher so we see here on the German 30 had a good move now price is getting once again batting back up to uh, close to this resistance area and if we do see further buying we'd like to see what happens when price gets up to that 13240 area and uh, there's been plenty of supply there there was a decent fall uh, we haven't been back there since the 18th of the 9th so it will be interesting if we do see some further upside uh, if buyers are able to uh, break through that level or if we see rejection once again so if we do see more rallying on the German 30 definitely keep an eye on uh, this area here from uh, 13240 to 13261 just to see if selling does uh, reappear on um, from basically just Oh, we can see it from that line there going all the way back to uh, the 9th of the 9th. Now, oil had a move lower. Now, this has been on the back of the news that uh, production has kicked back into gear. And that was after it was stopped due to uh, Hurricane Delta. And we will just have to keep an eye on oil just to see if uh, that does eventuate into something further. Or if we do see this demand that's starting to pick up from uh, late yesterday, if that does grow into sink a little bit more and buyers to go, come back in. So we do have this trend back here and this could turn into a high low, but we do need to see some confirmation first. Uh, so this, this level just here from 3920 to uh, 3930 we'll just keep an eye on that to see if that does uh, start to develop uh, into a higher low if we do see buying come through tonight now the NZD USD has been pretty uh, busy we have seen a move lower but that's been turned around we're seeing plenty of buying so at the moment we've seen a move that's around around 0.44% higher and we do see some pretty solid resistance here from 6.6655 so the buyers will be looking to break um, through this area here and if we do there's not a lot of resistance going until going all the way up to uh, sort of back up to that 6759 area so if we can see a break here who knows could we see um, a bit of a setup of a new push higher from buyers so that is the uh, one of the targets we're seeing tonight if we can get a break through that level um, the yen has been reasonable but we are seeing a bit of a fight back from risk to the yen so the pound has pulled back um, losses through today's Asian session of 0.19% and we are seeing a bit of a push but we'll have to see if that buying does come through carry through into tonight's European and London session and we are seeing similar patterns on the uh, euro and on the aussie so after a decent move down we are seeing a little bit of demand sneaking back in so it's 20 minutes away from the uh, european session open so we will um, just carry forward and just see if uh, buying does continue or if this is just a bit of um, positioning and if we do see some of this selling that has been apparent for the last uh, the world, from yesterday and today if that does carry forward into the London session. Now just finally touching on some of the news coming up um, we have the climb out count change coming up from the UK at 5pm uh, and tonight at 11.30pm this is all Australian Eastern Standard Time we have US CPI and core CPI coming out so traders well, that's not marked as a uh, high impact. I'm sure traders will be keeping an eye on that. Um, not that uh, CPI is too, 
too important these days with the changing of the bar from the Fed earlier uh, this year. So if you didn't hear, it's no longer a fixed 2% target, it's now a variable 2% target. So that means there can be a little bit of uh, flexibility around that uh, 2% target. So that's um, today's report. Uh, we hope you enjoy the rest of your day and uh, wish you good trading for the rest of the session. And until tomorrow, bye for now. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening.